It was such a good job Leonard didn't get hold of this. It's all chocolate. Hi everyone, welcome back to Little Land. Thanks for joining. Um, today is a really, really special day. It's my birthday. 21 again. <clears throat> Just as excitingly, it's also Hugo Box Day. What better day for me to open a hookah box than on my actual birthday? But before I get into all that, let me just quickly say hello if you're new around here and you haven't subscribed, please do go and click subscribe. Please make sure you've got your notifications turned on by clicking on the little bell down there as well. Right, are we all settled? Let's get on with it. These videos are by far the most popular on my channel. You all love Hugo Box, you all love my unboxing videos, which I'm so happy about. Thank you so much. Let's have a look. It smells really good. What is in here? I love it when they smell good. What? It says caution, contents hot. What? What's going on? Um. have uh, joined forces to bring you a really special Christmas Hugo box. It's my first collaboration. I just feel so happy and so proud that I get to work with such an amazing brand and such amazing people as Hugo box and I get to share a bit of Christmas in Layla Land with everybody. Obviously I will leave links to everything. I did a special announcement video to um, announce the collaboration so I'll leave a link to that down below. I will leave a link to Hugo Box obviously as I do every single time I do one of these videos and I will leave the link to go and order our Christmas box because you've literally only got a few days left if you've seen this video as it goes up. So go and snap one up. Oh that made me so happy. <laughs> right, welcome to your October Hugo Box. It's the time of year where autumn meets winter and the two merge creating the perfect conditions for indulgence. Oh I have been caning the hot chocolate and marshmallows. It's Gabby's favourite time of the year. Me too! And her ultimate indulgence is hot chocolate. Yes! Me too! We decided that to celebrate our first year running Hugo Box we would create a box dedicated to the art of a good hot chocolate. <gasps> God, if you follow me on um, social media, you will know, particularly Instagram, I make a really cute little hot chocolate bar and we all get tucked up, we get the fairy lights on, we get our pyjamas on and we just all sit together and just enjoy Sunday evenings. So this is awesome! Oh my God. Right. Let's get into this. This is ridiculous. Oh, this little guy is far too cute. I can't, there we go, I can hold it up against that black background. It's a little stencil to put on your hot chocolate and it's a moose. And I really love him. I'm going to call him Marvin the Moose. Say hello to Marvin, everybody. Oh, that's so cute. This month we have a little competition. We've added in a stencil for the top of your mug. We'd like you to send us photos via Instagram, Facebook or Twitter of your dusted hot chocolate and our favourite one will win a prize. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, first Alexa of my birthday. <laughs> oh, what's this? <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding? Choc Plus. Oh, it says here, Chocolate Plus. Excuse me. 100% chocolate drinking chocolate. Oh my god. Right, so in here, can you see, there's kind of like little chocolate chunks, chocolate chips, and I'm assuming you melt those, and then it turns into drinking chocolate, which just sounds like the most indulgent, beautiful chocolate drink ever. I'm a little bit of a hot chocolate snob, I'll be honest with you. Um, but that just sounds so beautiful to melt down actual chocolate. Isn't that what, how hot chocolate came to England? Pretty sure it was something to do with Queen Victoria and I'm pretty sure somebody just melted down some really nice chocolate and gave her that to drink. <laughs> that is defo pants getting tried this evening. Thanks girls. Oh my God. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> yes. Oh, I like that. I like 
Alexa, Alexa, Alexa! <gasps> Do you remember last time we got these? I was like, yes, I love these! These are so good! Basically, you get a mug of milk, or I got it right. The way I did it anyway was got a mug of milk, shoved it in the microwave so the milk was hot, and then you literally put that in and stir it in, and this melts and gives you the most creamy, beautiful, milky, chocolatey drink ever. I like it. Oh, and this one's got marshmallows in too, which is my topping of choice, I will be honest with you. Oh, it's white chocolate. Oh, and it says life is grand on the little stick. It really is when you get a hookah box. I mean, come on. Sidebar, little story for you. So, Megan, when she was a baby, used to love these. I say baby, I'm talking like three and four years old. She used to love these, but refused to call them flakes. So, Megan always referred to these as messy chocolates, and she always used to say, Mummy, can I have a messy chocolate, please, when we went to the shop? So, these in our house are called messy chocolates, and, you know, I don't need to explain why, do I? Because they just make a mess everywhere. Oh, yeah. That is so good to just crumble into your hot chocolate. <sighs> See, professional hot drop chocolate drinkers in this house. Oh, Alexa! What's next? Oh, my God! <gasps> I've just seen something! I've just seen something! Yes! Right. What is... The most autumn, winter, Christmassy scent that you can pretty much put with anything and it will instantly remind you of this time of year. Cinnamon! Yes! Cinnamon powder! So you can add this to your hot chocolate. You could dust it over the top with the, with our little stencil going on. Love it. Also, <clears throat> I will be putting a little bit of this in a tiny little dish or a little plate, or just a little kind of container, and just dotting it around the house, and maybe atop a radiator, because it'll give a lovely scent when it warms up and wafts everywhere. How marvellous, and how welcoming, and beautiful. <gasps> oh, Alexa! Alexa! What's next? Oh my god, this is awesome. <gasps> More hot chocolate, are you kidding? <laughs> this is like, amazing! This is the first gift I've opened today and it's literally like the best birthday present ever. Just a box full of hot chocolate. I can't see who that's by. It says produced in the UK by Nutshell. So I'm assuming that's them. Fair trade luxury hot chocolate. I stock tea and coffee in my house for all my tea and coffee drinking friends. But very, very rarely will there be hot chocolate at somebody else's house for me to drink. Whack that in my handbag and I'm never going to be stuck for a brew again, am I? I mean... Like it's gonna stay in my own bag, that's gonna get consumed. I like it! <gasps> right. Lottie Shores is one of my favourite baked goods brand. We have um, a gorgeous farm shop just up the road from us in Skipton and they sell Lottie Shores goodies there and they are always beautiful. So I'm really happy to see that there. Yorkshire parking, if you're not a northerner, or you're not a Lancashire or Yorkshire girl, I mean, you need to get onto this. Parking is like the warmest, most moist and succulent cake ever. When I say warmest, I mean that it's, it's kind of spiced in that really, really gorgeous, like, ugh. Just, just come in when you're really cold and take your bobble hat off and go and get yourself a slice of ginger parking. Mm! My tummy just rumbled then, did you hear that? Oh, I've just thought, get a hot chocolate on the go, whack in some of your cinnamon, get your little ginger cake on the go. Oh, how warming and beautiful would that be? Oh my God, this is like the most indulgent box ever. So today I was saying that my bottom lip was feeling a little dry. I don't know if you can see it's getting a bit, a bit dry on the bottom. Once again, I think they're in my house listening to me. It's only a chocolate flipping lip balm. <laughs> Says here by the Glasgow Soap Company. Mm. Oh my God. Let's get this bad boy open. Oh, it's a slidey lid. Did you see me work that out before I spent 10 minutes trying to... Never mind. My tummy's really rumbling now. <laughs> 
Oh my god, that smells beautiful. I'm really sorry about my phone keep going off. Can you see? It's giving a shimmer. I best put some up there as well now. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. That's really softening as well. Bearing in mind, I've got a matte liquid lipstick on, which can be a little drying. That's just instantly made my lips feel so supple. And it smells of chocolate. So, Paul, are you ready for wanting to give me lots more kisses? Because I'm going to taste like chocolate now. Oh, it's another sachet. Marvellous. Luxury hot chocolate. Oh, me and Paul could take that when we next go away. Oh, I'll save those for us, Paul. I like it. Oh, oh, okay, oh, okay, I mean, giant chocolate buttons from Montezuma's, we've had a couple of chocolate bars from there, and we really like them, thank you, so, 58% cocoa, these are going to be good, dark chocolate giant buttons, so, I mean, I'm assuming you could just eat them, but I think the idea would be to melt them down, add some milk if you fancy, and make a, yet another luxurious, different flavoured hot chocolate. Oh my god, this is awesome. I'm really happy that I've been getting some messages lately from people saying that they really love my enthusiasm and my giddy nature and the fact that that kind of temperament has made them embrace Hooga even more and made them go and discover Hooga Box because, <laughs> I mean, I sometimes do worry that I'm being a bit too giddy but I genuinely can't help it so I'm really glad that you've been sending me messages saying how much you like it because this one is a, is a seriously giddy one. <laughs> yes! I'm going to try both. I'm going to try melting some down for a hot chocolate and then I'm going to try nibbling on them as is as well. You know, in the... um. All in the uh, name of research for you lot, obviously. Right, what? Oh, what is this? Oh, that's gorgeous! Oh, and it's from Dot Com Gift Shop. I love Dot Com Gift Shop so much. Oh, it's a beautiful mug. I'm a bit like I love a mug. Bear in mind, I love hot chocolates, and I, I find hot chocolates an experience. Like I don't just make a hot chocolate and absent-mindedly drink it whilst I'm doing 25 other things. I, it's an experience for me. I like to savour it and I like to enjoy my hot chocolate. And a good mug is as much a part of that as good hot chocolate for me. And that is beautiful. I really like it. It looks up. What? This? <gasps> oh, what does this smell of? Oh, obviously chocolate, isn't it? On this line. I am really clever, I promise. Oh, so we've got a flipping tea light holder as well. Oh, this is beautiful. So it's kind of, I don't know if you can see in the light. It's that really nice dark green that's around at the minute that I love so much. I'm obsessed with this. Under this gold on my nails, my nails are this colour. <laughs> oh, I love that. And then there's a beautiful little tea light in it as well that smells just beautifully of cocoa. It actually smells like... Oh, what is it? That reminds me of Palmer's Cocoa Butter. That, mm, it's going to smell so good. One, another thing I love to do, especially at this time of year as well, is really nourish my skin. And I like to put lots and lots of body moisturiser on and really spoil my skin. Get a candle going, really hoogar it up so that will go perfectly once again. Ow. I just hit my light. So that was everything for the October Hooga Box. Like I said, October was Hooga Box's first birthday. So happy birthday, guys, and congratulations on your first year in business. It's been a wonderful year. I have thoroughly enjoyed receiving a Hooga Box every month this year and um, sharing them in my videos and obviously getting to know you guys over the year as well. So happy birthday and congratulations. I really hope all of you lot love this video as well. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up for me. That would be hugely appreciated. Come and leave me a comment as well. I love chatting with you lot. And as I mentioned, the comments I've been receiving recently have, have been giving me such a boost and just have made me enjoy this whole experience even more. I love getting all of your comments. I love people getting so excited about the Christmas box saying that they've ordered theirs and they can't wait to get it. So yeah, do leave me comments. I always try my best to reply. Come and find me on Twitter and Instagram as well. Don't forget, if you haven't already, go and click subscribe. Make sure when you do subscribe that you click the little bell icon because that will give you notifications whenever 
whenever I upload a video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know when you've done that and I will give you a shout out in my next video as well and say hello to you personally. Obviously down in the description box I will leave links to everything. I will also leave links to my side channel Layla Land Extra where lots of my vlogs are going to be and to my social media so come and follow me on there as well and until next time have a lovely lovely week and I will see you again in my next video. Thanks!